Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another uh, edition of uh, the Access of Trader .com, uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. As the old adage says, same crap, different toilet. It's just kind of a rinse repeat now uh, every single day. Uh, you see now back-to-back -back days, Dow Jones down, back-to-back -back days, 300 points. Uh, all the money flow right now is literally going into uh, the tech beta space uh, this morning, I, I forgot what the analyst it was, uh, downgraded the tech names. Nobody cares. I mean, really, really nobody cares. Uh, Amazon, ever since it broke out, uh, you know, broke out of this uh, 25 and a quarter area a couple of days back, you know, 2,700 crowd. They've been peppering with calls over and over and over. Just again, just really paid off there. Google uh, that broke out yesterday off that 1450 level, went to the 1480 again, all in line of where these call buyers were coming from. Uh, Tesla, I mean, what are you gonna say? Uh, Wedbush kind of put the last dagger, right, in the back of the bears, a thousand dollar price target uh, this morning. You know, stocks 1025 now. Uh, just a monster, just an absolute crazy move. And it, it, again, at some point, and, and again, I don't, I don't want to be, I'm, I'm not that guy who says, look, bears, I told you so, look, bulls, I told you so. But a after a while, I mean, you, you really have to just turn around and say, again, if you are, if, you, if your bearish thesis continues to be that Tesla is a zero one day, again, at what point do you turn around and just say, look, man, I'm just wrong, right? I I'm just wrong. Uh, at 350, you were wrong. At 500, you were wrong. At 600, you were wrong. At 700, you were wrong. Elon Musk said the stock is over, overpriced at 700. We're now at 1,000. It's like, it's like to the point of how many more excuses can you turn around and say, well, the stock, I still think the stock goes to zero. It's, it's, again, it's like the Golden State Warriors uh, playing without Clay Thompson and Durant last year in the finals and said, well, if we had Clay and Durant, we would have beat you guys, but you lost. But if we had Clay and Kevin Durant, we would have beat you guys. But you lost. If if my aunt had, she'd be my uncle. So the, the idea of this market really putting people in their place really shows you, you can't put yourself in a corner. I, I don't care what stock it is. I'm just kind of, you know, using Tesla uh, as a centerpiece here. But again, at some point when you are trading, and again, I don't care... Um, what time frame it is. It could be on a 30 minute channel, on a 60 minute channel, your, your time horizon is three months, three years, whatever the case may be. Being wrong is part of the business. I, I, again, I think when you start looking at being wrong versus being profitable, um, that's a completely different conversation. And, and I think, again, I've been saying this for years, I think the ego really comes into place. It's more important for somebody uh, to try to convince everybody, look, I'm, I'm smart. I promise I'm smart. I'm not that dumb guy. I, I'm not getting it wrong. It's just a speed bump. I, I think the idea of trying to impress people instead of keeping your account solvent um, is a conversation I think a lot of traders really need to uh, have with themselves. And, and again, we, we continuously see the same thing. Again, it's like video after video after video. Same, same excuses everybody has. The market's overextended. The market's overbought. These stocks can't go higher. Look, just look, just look. Again, if we had Clay Thompson, if we had Kevin Durant, we would have won. But you don't. That's the whole point. You don't have normalcy. You don't have rationale. What you do have is one of the more in incredibly aggressive markets uh, in my trading career. And again, instead of sitting there trying to complain, trying to make excuses, uh, enjoying you know, the misery, right? The misery of why you, you, you can't get things done. Again, just take it for face value. Again, trust the price action. The price action will make you right. Again, you don't need to think about what's gonna happen three months from now. We don't know, right? We, we don't know. Like for example, I brought my daughter uh, around 2.30ish or so. I brought her to school. She dropped off her books. And then we picked up, right? We picked up more books for the new year. And again, it's basically uncertainty. The teachers are basically telling us, we don't know what's going to happen in September, October, right? When, when it's time to go back to school. So here's some books, right? 
here's some books just in case. So again, we don't know what's going to happen two weeks from now, three weeks from now, a month from now, 30 minutes from now. We don't even know if we're going to be alive 30 minutes from now. Again, concentrate on the present. Okay. We can't control the future. You could control the present. And again, instead of moaning and, and griping and complaining about it, the most important thing is again, embrace the price action, depending how you trade, whether you're a option trader, futures trader, position, swing, scalp, or whatever the case may be, make sure it applies to reality, not your reality, to the reality that we're getting. So again, market is in full-blown crazy mode. Uh, again, I came into uh, today's session, just like we talked about you know, yesterday in the video, I, you know, I was cautious. I said, look, I'm willing to buy stocks, right? If the channels are confirming, I'm willing to participate. But you know what? I want to, I want to be a little cautious. 30 seconds after the open, all caution was gone. These things are, again, complete rockets. All the names that we were watching for continuation coming out of the channels, the Zooms of the world, the NVIDIAs of the world, right? They, they, they just exploded, absolutely exploded. And again, the market is just doing the same thing over and over again. They take the stocks that explode, and the next day rest them. So for example, right? Netflix had a huge move yesterday and rested today. Facebook had a huge move yesterday and rested today. NVIDIA, right? That rested for a couple of days, exploded today, right? Exploded 52 week high, all in all. ZM that rested, again, we talked about how it needed to reclaim the five day moving average, exploded. Now it's one day away from taking out new highs. Too low, for example, again, a long distribution, right? Finally got above this range and now it's, it's striking distance of taking out highs. So this market is kind of on almost autopilot, right? The strong stocks are either going to confirm the previous day's price action and continue to go, or they rest and they go the next day. Again, case in point here, BYND did exactly the same thing that Tesla did. I mean, literally this exactly the same, for the exception of the price action, because they didn't get the catalyst today, they did exactly the same thing. Big gap up, next day rested, just like Netflix did today, just like Facebook did today. And the next day, which is today, it exploded. At, at one point, it put up like a six, $7 candle. So the market continues to do everything exactly the same way. Uh, it really is rinse repeating both the bulls and the bears. And again, every single day, I turn around and say, this is not going to end well. Again, common sense tells us this is not going to end well. It's, it's like kind of going into uh, the dot-com craze and you're in like the middle of 2000. You're saying, this is going to last forever. Yada, yada, yada. It's over, right? Just like that. So I think you have to appreciate the price action while it's here. Um, I think you have to take advantage of the ranges while they're here. Uh, but more important, I, I think the most important part is, again, I think you have to remove your ego. I think you have to remove uh, your bias, whether it's long or short, and kind of just go with the flow. Because again, eventually it will stop. Eventually you're not going to have a $60 range on Tesla. You're not going to have you know, a, a $100 range on Amazon. Eventually, and this is bound to happen, number one, gravity is real. Number two, every single run-up ends exactly the same way. But if you are a new trader, and again, people are making fun of these whole, the whole Robin Hood thing. I, I get it. It's new traders. You know, everybody's out of work. They're, 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 they're funding their accounts, yada, yada, yada. And they're chasing everything in sight. And they're actually making money chasing everything in sight. And the more I think about it was, well, what was the difference between what I was doing, right? In 99 and 2000, and the Robin Hood people were doing now. You know, I didn't know how to trade. We were all clueless. Anybody, anybody who tells you they knew what they were doing during the internet craze is lying. None of us knew. All we kept on doing was literally taking five, six, seven positions overnight, the highest close, right? The biggest percentage winners of the day. And the next day they would gap up, right? They would just gap up. So we didn't know what the hell were they doing. So the idea that people are coming on and making fun of the Robin Hooders, right? We were exactly the same way, okay? We were completely wet behind their ears. We didn't know what the hell we were doing. We thought it was normal. So somebody that's brand new to this market and, and is chasing everything in sight, again, history repeats itself. The only difference was, right? The only difference was this thing lasted for us for about a year and a half, right? Year and a half, 17 months or so, okay? This is lasting for about a couple of months. So again, guys, be careful. Don't chase those stocks to go from two to 25. Don't do it, okay? Don't do it. You know, learn from people's mistakes because again, when this stops, and I'm telling you it will, the only question is, is it gonna stop tomorrow? Is it gonna stop two weeks from now? Is it gonna stop six months from now or a year from now? Eventually it will stop. Again, giving back a day is okay. 
Don't give back your month. Don't give back your year because again, you're trading with the blinders on. So uh, let's talk about today's pivots. Uh, ri ridiculous, ridiculous moves. Again, number one, uh, congratulations for all you guys who uh, rolled up uh, into the Tesla trade. Uh, I know a lot of you guys came in long overnight. Fantastic job. Again, I personally... I uh, didn't trade Tesla today. Just th there wasn't enough value for me. I mean, what am I going to do? Buy at a thousand? I understand it's twenty, you know, twenty-five dollars higher. Th there wasn't value for me there. Uh, big, big moves all over the place here. Nvidia uh, again. This is the fifty-two week high. Uh, three sixty-seven seventy-five. Three sixty-eight needs to build. Uh, Nvidia just exploded. Right, really exploded. Here was a sixty. Again, this wasn't one of the, you know. This wasn't a sneaky pivot. This was just a macro channel confirmation. So here was. Uh, the 367 and a half, 368, and you know, Nvidia exploded. It went to uh, 380. Just a huge move in Nvidia. Uh, monster move there. Um, Facebook never confirmed. Still, I'm still liking this uh, setup here. Uh, Alibaba went a little bit late. Uh, 2250 needs to build. I, I still like Alibaba. Um, I still think it has room. It took out the 2250. Uh, went to the 25. I, I still think it has room upside. Um, the, the, the only thing, again, the only thing I don't like about Alibaba, if you notice here, a lot of these channels are contracting, right? Contracting, 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 and then you'll have this one big candle. And then it contracts, 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 one big candle, contracts, contracts. So a lot of times, especially if you're if you are an inexperienced trader, you're going to get chopped up in a stock like this. Uh, I think it needs a really clean path. I think this Bollinger Band needs to come down. And if it does, you know, you could get it. Uh, still a move to the, into the 230s, uh, but again, obviously, uh, the whole China trade war, Trump, uh, China, you know, it, it does play a part in, in, its, uh, in its plan. Uh, Roku, uh, 150, 115.30, uh, 115.50, not a big move at all. Uh, Roku put up a buck, you know, not a big move. So it took out the 15, 15.50, uh, went to 16.28, really, really ugly reversal after that. Again, it's just having a hard time getting... Uh, really getting going here. Uh, this is a great trade. Um, I took this trade perfectly, perfectly. Uh, it exploded. The first move went to 213, came back in the second entry, 213, and ZM went absolutely nuts. Uh, went as high as today, closed at the highs of the day today, uh, 221 and change. Again, you could see that 20, you know, that 52 week high is is within reach tomorrow. So big move. I mean, great, great move, guys. Great trade on uh, ZM. Again, Apple uh, continues to be a monster. 349.15 needs to build. Here is Apple. Uh, again, just the stocks are just exploding over and over again. So here's a 319.50 and just exploded all day grind uh, all the way to the 355 level. Uh, BYND, again, again, exploded, right? Again, these beta, just all the rotations coming back to these beta names. Uh, 155.75. Uh, 156 needs to build. Here was BYND, right? So here was BYND. This whole 56 area just exploded. Went all the way uh, to 163, which it got rejected off the previous day's high. So a $7 candle in BYND. Again, these are all single candles. are just, just killing shorts at these levels over and over again. And again, take on the way up. Huge uh, Apple just, just going nuts. 353. Uh, Workday, I still like. Um, I still like. Again, some names are more. Some names are more macro. Uh, you, you can't trade every single stock. Uh, Workday closed right on this 183 level. Uh, went to 185. Um, you know, still again 52 week highs inside off this 187 level. So a couple of bucks there on Workday. Um, and I think that's it. Oh, also, we had tons of bounce plays. Uh, if you go into uh, my Twitter account, okay, we had a great bounce on uh, Boeing. Beautiful bounce. Boeing got killed the whole day today. Um, I tweeted out this whole area here, this 197.60. was the macro support, and the remount was great. We literally got long, long right on this remount. The stock just started exploding right back. So that was good as well. But overall, again, you know, this market is just top notch. If you, if you do trade beta, um, again, it's very, very tough to, to look for issues. Again, you're going to have uh, days, like for example, like we had last Friday, right? Uh, the beta just wasn't doing anything. And that's the, again, that what comes from the personal growth. That's when you learn to say, okay, you know what? Today's just not my day. Not because I can't make any money, because the stocks that I'm trading are not in vogue today. But you know what? Tomorrow might be a new one. And tomorrow started with Monday, continued into yesterday, 
and obviously really, really continued uh, into, to, to, uh, into today. So tomorrow, again, I'm always keeping one eye open for any problems, but again, I'm watching Zoom and I'm watching Tulo, um, you know, I'm watching Beyond, you know, so there's a lot of names that are still could give us some pretty good value, but I'm also watching Common Sense and Gravity can kick in. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.